How much money do you have to spend on cybersecurity training to either break into the industry or advance your career? In this video, we're gonna talk about the things that you need to consider and the amount of money that you can expect to spend on training. But first, welcome to the channel or welcome back. My name is John Good, and here on this channel, we talk all about cybersecurity. If you enjoy the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Also remember to check out the description for more training and resources. All right, let's do this. There are so many cybersecurity training options and programs that range anywhere from free to tens of thousands of dollars. But how much do you really need to spend? I've personally taken courses and programs all over the price spectrum, including a master's degree in cybersecurity, and with some of that training being worth more than others when it came to my career. So I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what I'm talking about. Basically, when it comes down to it, there's five questions that you have to ask yourself and answer to determine how much you need to spend when it comes to cybersecurity training. As we go through these questions, I encourage you to assign a number value to each of them. One, not important at all. Two, somewhat not important. Three, important. Four, fairly important. And five, extremely important. Then once we finish, take a look at your ratings. Free training is gonna to tend to be on the lower end of the scoring, and those more expensive courses are probably gonna be on the higher end. Okay, let's get started. Question one, how fast do you wanna learn? Programs that cost more tend to be very focused on a timeline of learning. This allows you to get exposure to a lot of the material quicker without having to go through different locations or get exposed to material over a long time. The less organized that the program is, the longer it's gonna take you to learn. It's just that simple. Question two, do you wanna get all the information from one source or at most two sources? One of the things that I've noticed in these training programs is that a lot of the material isn't unique to these programs. For example, you can learn a lot about the basics of Metasploit from the EJPT, the OSCP, the GPAN, and probably a few other certifications that I'm missing. Unfortunately, certain programs are gonna give you limited amount of information, and they expect you to go beyond their program or training to fully understand the concepts. Typically, the more you pay, the more focused the program is gonna be with learning the material quickly and not messing around. One really good example I like to give for this question is with SANS training for GIAC certifications. So can I learn this stuff for the exam on my own? Yes, absolutely. But SANS collects all this information in one spot for me. That also means that you could spend hours, days, or months on your own just collecting all the materials to learn the same kind of stuff, and it doesn't have to be linked to a certification. So you do have another option. Question three, how good do you want the quality to be? Do you want zero distractions? Low quality training tends to be very distracting to learn from. Look at YouTube and some of these low budget videos where there's some kind of buzzing noise in the background or low resolution screen shares with awful music in the background. That's the kind of quality that is not good for learning. Somebody doesn't need a multi-million dollar recording studio to create high quality content. High quality content microphones start at a couple hundred dollars and I expect that training will at least use that because poor audio is the most distracting aspect of training. It also helps if the trainer has a high quality camera for at least 1080p videos if they're gonna actually turn it on. Especially if you start spending money on training, these issues are unacceptable but much more common in free resources. Question four, do you want certification vouchers included? Even if the trainer purchases a lot of these vouchers, we can pretty reasonably see what it costs to take the exam. But do you want a solution that includes these? For CompTIA exams, we can assume the cost is somewhere around $400 per exam without even looking. It could or could not be easier if the trainer includes these, but just remember that three CompTIA exams might cost you $1,000 or more. So maybe that training program isn't all of a sudden a huge ripoff if you start getting other value. I'm not defending programs either way here, but I'm just saying we need to account for these costs like exam vouchers if there are comparable options. Question five, do you want extras like career coaching or live training? Look, on-demand training is one thing and typically these kind of programs are relatively low cost and they can be good quality. If you start getting things like career coaching, it'll absolutely increase the cost. Getting a qualified trainer or coach isn't inexpensive in general, so you're definitely gonna pay a premium to have it. A lot of on-demand training programs won't include this kind of benefit, but it could be beneficial if you're looking for that kind of guidance. I know with my career coaching, students have told me consistently that they get a ton out of our coaching sessions because I'm speaking to them personally about their situation directly instead of in general terms. At the end of the day, the questions that we covered in this video can really help you to determine how much you can expect to pay when it comes to cybersecurity training. As a reminder, the lower that you rated these questions, the more likely that free content is gonna be okay, and the higher that you rated the questions, the more that you're probably gonna to have to spend. Question of the day, what are you willing to spend on cybersecurity training either per month or per year? And what's important to you in training? Let me know down in the comment section below. In this video, we talked about how much you really need to spend on cybersecurity training to break into the industry 
or to advance your career. Remember, not everybody's the same with what they want in training, but there are certain things that you can get or can't get depending on how much you spend. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description for more training resources, and I'll see you next time.